What's going on guys? This is Martyrs Brigade 99 coming to you once again with another session of Dark Souls PvP. Alright guys, we're back at it once again in the forest. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be yet another two-part video series. Um, and actually, I think I might just make this an ongoing series. Um, and the name of the series that I think I'm going to title it is The Forest Hunter's Oath. Right? Because basically, you know, when you're forest hunting, you know, you're just in a situation wherein, at least how I see it, you need to always put forth an effort to get rid of the invaders of Dark Room. It's the bottom line. Right? Not sit back and wait for help <laughs> right not you know running around with your fog ring um, just being a nuisance and not doing anything but if you're holding true to the covenant your goal your objective is to do whatever you can to get rid of any and every trash trespasser that visits the forest so I think I might just go ahead and make this an ongoing series, uh, like I said before, that I like the title, uh, The Forest Hunter's Oath. Now, um, with regard to this particular two-part video series, the first will feature me using dex weapons, because for a lot of you guys that are familiar with the channel, I was basically in easy mode last week. Easy mode meaning katana. For the, for the vast majority of the uh, footage. And actually I had um, a, I had a cut Chaos Blade, excuse me, as my primary weapon. And I had the Silver Knight Spear as a secondary weapon. And that's 100% super easy mode. You know, I know a lot of you guys are um, loyalist to the Katanas and you will stand by it. I'm fine with that. But you guys cannot deny that katana is 100% easy mode. Now, um, unlike a lot of people, I will not just sit here and make my statement without having some type of support for what I'm saying. right? Because that's one thing that a lot of people say. They'll say, well, this is good because it's good. But that's not really sufficient if you're trying to convince someone of anything. Nor is that an argument based upon any type of support. Right? So let me just kind of go uh, through some things as to why I believe katanas are 100% easy mode. Number one, um, katanas, katanas can inflict pretty decent damage. Especially when we're dealing with the Chaos Blade. The Chaos Blade in particular. Now the Yuki, the Lito. You know, they're not bad, but the Chaos Blade in particular can deal some heavy damage relative to the weapon type. Case in point, you could two-hand a katana, and in a lot of cases, you can hit for like 400 damage. Right? In some cases, that's the equivalent to a, let's just say, a, a Flamberg. Uh, two-handed R1 of a Flamberg. Which is actually a great sword. Um, here's another example because I've done this plenty of times myself. On a wake up, you can hit somebody with the wake up kick and the two hand slash with the katana and hit for almost 500 damage on a katana. So, for the weapon type, the katanas, but Chaos Blade in particular has pretty good damage relative to the weapon type. Number two, I say that it's easy mode because there is no punishment for, for a miss swing with a katana. Think about it. Look at think just think about the swing speed of a katana. There's no punishment. So in other words, whether you are a so-called pro or an acknowledged noob you're not going to get punished for a mistake with regard to a katana you miss a swing your recovery is nearly instantaneous uh, what else uh, not only do you have a fast recovery 
but you have super fast uh, attack speed right so let's just look at it relatively good damage and I say relative to the weapon type uh, relatively good damage super fast recovery which minimizes the possibility of a punish for a, for a failed or missed swing in addition to that pretty fast swing speeds so all those things in mind in my personal opinion it's easy mode and that's why although I will use a katana the vast majority of the time I really don't even mess with it right so for a lot of you guys that like to sit there and pick out things I didn't say I will never use it but the vast majority of the time you will not catch me with a katana my personal opinion is easy mode you don't really have to try hard with a katana you know you don't really have to do anything but just basically hit the R1 I mean think about it for a lot of you guys especially some of you dudes who like to participate in fight clubs how many times have you noticed yourself someone with a two-handed chaos blade and this will be their technique they'll two-hand it swing and run swing and run swing and run swing and run hitting you for like 300 plus and in some cases 400 damage right little to no possibility of being punished when you miss a swing um, and in a lot of cases they can hit you two or three times by the time you swing once with let's just say a halberd or let's just say a greatsword easy mode so the vast majority of the time you will not catch me with it and this is why a lot of times I like to use halberds um, or strength weapons because in my personal opinion using these awkward swinging you know awkward slow swinging punishable weapons is more of a challenge think about it um, ju just the next time either you use a halberd yourself or you notice me playing in the game just notice me in doing a lot of these 2v1s one thing that you guys would notice is that I'm gonna miss on a lot of occasions right maybe I'll just throw out a R1 and when I missed just notice how I'm my character is placed off balance right because it's basically an awkward swing both one-handed and two-handed they're both awkward swings so when you're messing around with either strength weapons or other weapons uh, like some of those out of the halberd class in my personal opinion um, it takes a little more time a little more patience and for lack of better words a little more skill because you can easily be punished from a missed R1 swing matter of fact just look just matter of fact look right now at my R1 attempts look at how my body look how awkward it is and look how fast I can be punished from a missed swing same cannot be said from a katana as a matter of fact uh, with easy mode katanas you can basically just swing and parry nearly in the same motion so this is why I say is easy mode so um, enough about that rant what you're not going to see in this two-part series is any katanas. I'm going, uh, this is my dex build, and as a matter of fact, the first part of the video series, you'll see me using uh, the halberd. I'll throw in a flamberg every now and then. I'll use the regular scythe. Um, and in part two, you guys are going to feature me. Uh, and act, well, actually, you guys are not going to feature me, but I'm going to feature myself using strength weapons some of those which will include the uh, that demon great machete I think it's called uh, I will use the mace um, I'll have some I think I'll have some Zwei hander in there somewhere um, and a few others oh and a black knight great axe right some of those are not easy to use especially when you're talking mace ultra great swords Although they do have the potential to inflict a lot of damage, they are not easy to use because they are awkward swinging weapons. And they should be awkward swinging. Um, especially a lot of those hammers and a lot of those heavy weapons. Think about it, right? Because I know on a lot of occasions I hear guys say, um, you know, uh, they're just too hard to use. And this is why we basically stay on easy mode. Well, think about it, guys. They should be hard to use. 
let's just think about the physical nature of a halberd, for example. Right? So you have the staff or the arm or whatever the handle is, but most of the weight is at the end of the halberd itself. That's where the blade or whatever that metal piece is. And that's basically where all the weight is. So it's awkward to use mainly because when you really think about how the weapon is built, physically speaking, it should be awkward. Think about it, guys. Let's just say you have a sledgehammer in your hand. Just physically speaking, let's say you have a sledgehammer. Now, granted, you know, the handle, you know, maybe a you know, few pounds, maybe one or two pounds. But where is all the weight? All the weight in the sledgehammer is actually at the end of the sledgehammer. And that's why they're awkward to hold, right? And they're awkward to swing. And unless you're a pretty strong guy, you know, you will not be able to just pick up and swing a sledgehammer the same way you would be able to swing, you know, I don't know, a sword or something similar. I'm just trying to think of uh, something to compare it to. And I basically say all that to say that um, I think it's better, in my personal opinion, for me personally to challenge myself with a lot of these uh, what you might call awkward swinging weapons. So, you know, although you guys will at times catch me in easy mode, on a lot of occasions you will not see me using uh, a spear or a katana. 100% easy mode. Alright, so enough about the rant. So like I said before, uh, part one will include me using uh, halberds, scythe, you know, some of these other dex weapons. And part two will feature me using some of the strength weapons. And actually, I've been having a good time uh, since I've been on Xbox. Shout out to all the Xbox players. Um, and actually, this is footage, both parts one and two will be footage uh, featuring me on Xbox. But, you know, just to be honest, one thing that I do not like so far about Xbox, especially with regard to the Forest Hunters, you know, um, and actually, I've kind of mentioned this on a uh, Forest video in the past. Listen, guys, um, to the extent that you guys may recognize me. Now, unless I know you, <laughs> meaning, you know, you're, you know, one of the Twitch bros or someone that I communicate with a lot, so, you know, in some way, maybe you message me a number of times. Dude, if I invade you, I mean, I'm an invader. Just treat me like any other invader. Like, if you want to say, you know, what's up, bro? What's going on, dude? Good fight and all that. I mean, just please leave it for, you know, after the match is done. Right? Because I treat any and every person like an invader. Now, if it's somebody I know, you know, I'll stop and gesture. But if I do not know you... I mean, when I see you, I mean, just think. I mean, just think about it. If it's not a formal setup match, meaning Fight Club, or if I did not summon you through a red soap summon sign, I am not going to treat you with any type of mannerisms. I'm an. In, well, actually, you're trespassing in my forest, and I'm basically just going to attack. Right? Nothing personal. So I'm just letting you guys know in advance. You want to give me a shout out? Please say what's up. Message me. Feel free to you know send me a message or something like that. I will reply. But just do it after either I die or you die. Because if you bow, more than likely you're going to get kicked in the forest. Bottom line, I'm kicking you. It's not a formal match. Nothing personal, right? Because I had a couple guys say, you know, I can't believe how mean you are. You just ran up to me and kicked me. Listen, dude, we're in the forest. Bottom line, we're not friends. This is not a setup, you know, series of matches. No, it's not. Right? You're a trespasser, and I'm going to treat you as such. All right, so enough about that. Now, like I said before, um, one thing that I have noticed, you know, PS3 uh, Dark Root is a lot more relentless, in my personal opinion, than what I have experienced thus far. Meaning, on several occasions, several occasions, 
you know, I'll have guys who, okay, let's just say you're a ganker, and you start off ganking me, and let's just say, um, I, you know, I, I somehow, by luck, defeat the Phantom. And then after I defeat the Phantom, I guess, you know, it's kind of like some type of mannerism where you just bow and, you know, you assume that I should be bound back. Listen, dude, you're a ganker, right? Don't go from having the intent to kill me by way of ganking to try to show off a mannerism. I'm not buying it, right? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'd just rather you just be a ganker and stick with being a ganker. Bottom line. Because more than likely, if you do that, I'm going to backstab you or I'm going to hit you or something. Right, just, I mean, if you're going to be a ganker, just go ahead and stick with it and be a ganker all the way. Don't part-time it. <laughs> right, if you're going to do it, go all the way with it. All right, so we have two guys, I guess they're buddies, right? One using the Logan's hat and one using the witch's hat. And actually, that was a good little technique right there. Nice little quick kick. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, a lot of the gankers on PS3, I mean, in my personal opinion, just from comparing, they're a lot more vicious, a lot more relentless um, with their tactics. And as a matter of fact, I've, I've run into so many lone hosts in the forest. I mean, it's actually pretty surprising because it is very rare, at least in my personal experience on PS3, that as a forest hunter, you will run into somebody by themselves. Unless they're a super hot, um, super hot shot, super high level type of dude. But I've run into so many 1v1s in the forest that it was actually quite shocking. Uh, and you guys are going to notice a huge difference between parts 1 and part 2 of this particular series. Because, you know, part 1, I figured that I would go ahead and feature a lot of ganker situations. Part 2, on the other hand, whereas it will have a few ganker situations, I mean, there are also a lot of cases where it's me versus a lone host. And I was actually surprised, and honestly, in some cases, I was disappointed, right? Because, see, when I, invo when I invade the forest, I'm basically looking for scum of the earth. 100% scum of the earth. Scum of the earth dudes that basically do not have the courage to fight on their own. And this is why they have the malicious intent to gank. They're cowards by themselves, and that's why they gank. Now, some of you guys will say, why do you say that they're cowards by themselves? Well, here's why. Now, one thing that you guys will notice about me, right, whether I have invaded you or whether you're making observations from the videos that I upload, I'm going to engage whether I'm by myself or whether I'm with somebody. Bottom line, because my goal is to kill the trespassers. That's my goal. It's not to wait for backup. It's not to sit back and shy back and run. And No. It's to get rid of the trespassers. And that's the oath of Alvina, in my personal opinion. And if you take the oath, then either you do it or you get yourself out of the covenant right so what i'm saying is these gankers in my personal opinion most of them are cowards because one thing that you will notice especially for these guys that are not fighting by themselves and actually i i'm willing to say that the lone hosts get a lot more respect than any ganker any day right I, and, and actually if they're by themselves, I really don't even care what kind of tactics that they use as long as they're not using some type of hack. Because think about it, you have to be pretty gutsy to fight by yourself, bottom line. Pretty gutsy to fight by yourself because in a lot of cases, if you're a host, you could get ganked by forest hunters. And if you're a forest hunter, you could get ganked by hosts. So, you know, if you're a lone trespasser, and you're there all by yourself. I mean, even if you're Wrath of the God spamming, you know, now I might not like the tactics, but at least you, you know, are at least a stand up enough guy to duke it out by yourself. So, yeah, um, and I basically say all that because there's a recent video that came out uh, and is basically asking the question who's the real gankers? 
right? And basically a ganker, by my own definition, is a person who is basically a coward on their own, right? Because they, um, they basically gank only because they will not fight on their own. So once they get help, you know, that's when they pull out all the tricks. The dark bead spam, the hornet rings, the great combustion spam, the whole nine. That's why they're fighting teams, because they're cowards by themselves. And in most cases, you can identify them, because as soon as you kill the, uh, their phantoms, what happened? They run. Exhibit A. I mean, I check this out. Now, you know, he was going, you know, 100 miles and running when it was him and his buddy. But what is he doing now? He's not really doing anything. Well, he can't really do anything because I'm too busy. I'm too busy engaging him. But at the end of the day, this is what most of them do. They just flee. But see, when they have their buddy with them, they're hard charging, running at you. You know, a hundred miles and running with all their little confidence and all their little tricks, all their little R1 spamming, all their little magic tricks. So that's basically what I call a ganker, a person who basically does not have enough courage to fight on their own so they basically have their buddy and they pull out all the the cheapest stops <laughs> that's what they do so gankers are not limited to hosts in the forest gankers can also be forest hunters because I don't know how many times I've been forest hunting and there will be a guy with his little fog ring standing there when I invade and, you know, let's just say, I'll say, oh, there's an invader here. Let me see what is he going to do. And he basically just, like, comes in front of me and bow. And basically, when I don't move, they just kind of stand there. And I'm just sitting there thinking, like, dude, I mean, be a real force hunter. <laughs> right? At the end of the day, be a real force hunter. Don't wait for backup. Right? Because, in other words, uh, you know, we can't be what we're accusing these scumbags of being. And this is why I would say that I am different and some of these other guys are different because, I, I you know, a guy kind of made a comment saying, well, what do you think about Peeve and the Sack Bros? First off, I mean, Peeve can fight in the forest by himself. Dreaded Cone, uh, a lot of these other quote-unquote Sack Bros can handle themselves in the forest on their own, right? So, I mean, it's not a situation where they have to come up with their own little sack bro gang just to gang up on people uh, uh, and they wouldn't have already done it on their own no it's not even like that because I've seen the vast majority of those guys uh, handle gankers by themselves on plenty of occasions right so I don't consider sack bros you know so called sack bros to be gankers not my personal opinion right they don't have the malicious intent to gank only because they cannot fight on their own. Not at all. Alright, so I think that's enough ranting. <laughs> about uh, easy mode. And about gankers for part one of the video series. So, I mean, I guess I could talk more about, you know, just kind of... Um, not, not notice this. Now, this guy is a ganker. See, why are you bowing, dude? You're a ganker. You were just trying to double team me. Now you want to bow? Get off it, dude. I'm not bowing to you. Bottom line. I have no respect for these dudes. Just go ahead and be a ganker and fight all the way. Don't bow. Alright, so like I said, this is the end of part one. Stand by for the strength weapon part of this two-part series. Martyr's Brigade.